Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving a linear equation with the unknown on both sides. So we've got two equations here and in both of these equations the unknown, the x, appears on both sides of the equation. And this makes it a bit more difficult than when we had the unknown on just one side of the equation. However, we only have one extra step that we need to do and it's this. Collect the unknowns on the side of the equation where the coefficient is higher. And I'll, and I'll explain what I mean by coefficient. Now, the coefficient of a term is just the number that appears on front of it. So the coefficient of this term here is 5. It's the number that appears on the front. The coefficient of this x term here is 2. It's the number on the front. So we therefore want to collect the x terms on the side of the equation where we have more x's, that is, where the number on the front is bigger. Now, 5 is bigger than 2, so therefore we want to collect the x's on the left side of the equation. So let's do that. We want to get all the x's on the left-hand side of the equation, because we've got more x's here. So therefore, we need to get rid of that 2x. Now, how do we get rid of that 2x? Well, all we need to do is to just subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. Because what therefore happens is when we subtract 2x from here, it just gets rid of the 2x. If we've got 14 added to 2x, if we subtract 2x, it just gets rid of the 2x. So we're just left with 14 on the right-hand side. And we've also got to subtract 2x from the left-hand side, because whatever we do to the left-hand side of the equation, we have to do the same to the right. 5x minus 2x is 3 lots of x. And we've still got that minus 7 there. So the only thing that's disappeared is this term here, and that's gone down by 2x. And then we have an equation like we've solved before. We've got 3 lots of x minus 7 is equal to 14. Now, if x was multiplied by 3, and then we subtracted 7, we undo the last thing first. We want to get rid of that minus 7 that we did last, and therefore we add 7 to both sides of the equation. What you do to the left-hand side, you do to the right. The plus 7 gets rid of that minus 7 on here, just leaving 3x. And we have to plus 7 to the right-hand side as well, which gives us 21. And finally, well, x was multiplied by 3. We want to get rid of that multiplied by 3, so we divide both sides by 3. We do the reverse. And then that just gets rid of that 3, leaving x. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. And you could substitute that 7 into the original equation to check that it works. What about b? Well, let's read this tip again. Collect the unknowns on the side of the equation where the coefficient is greater. So in layman's terms, that's just saying, do we have more x's on the right-hand side of the equation or the left? Well, if I put a little cheeky 1 there, can you see that 4 is greater than minus 1? And therefore, we want to collect all the x terms on the right-hand side of the equation, so on this side. So therefore, we want to get rid of that minus 1x because we want all the x's on the right-hand side. And therefore, to get rid of the minus 1x, we do the opposite. We add 1x. So we add x to both sides. So on the left-hand side, adding the x gets rid of that minus x, leaving just 3. And if we add x to here, 4 lots of x plus 1 lot of x is 5x. And we've still got that plus 1. And now we do what we usually do. x has been multiplied by 5, and then we added 1 to get 3. The last thing we did on the right-hand side was to add 1. So we undo it by subtracting 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. Subtracting 1 gets rid of that plus 1, leaving 5. And then we want to get rid of that multiplied by 5 on front of the x, because it's 5 lots of x. So we divide both sides by 5. And 2 divided by 5 is 2 fifths. It's absolutely fine to leave your answer as a fraction in algebra.